my journey as an artist and uh, how much reggae has played a role in my, 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 my catalog. You know, so this was a, a, a chance, I mean, this was a, an, an, an initiative to just give the right credit to reggae music because reggae music has given me what, what I am today or has taken me where I am today. So then I planned to release a reggae album and I promised my fans a reggae album. So I said, all right, on my seventh round, I will do it I mean, strictly reggae. So I tested the waters with my own and it was a big song. It get, I mean, it got awards across the platforms all over, you know. So I was like, okay, it looks like the reggae is going down well with the people. Then I tried Oba. Then, of course, it also worked. They played it across all the weddings. And the people loved it. So I was like, all right then. I think it's just about time I give the people the reggae. So this is just to give my people mature music, a lot of mature music at a go, well-recorded, sound-wise just so that they know where we're, we're trying to take this. So oh, my chance is like every other African artist, are uh, uh, as good and as shaky as it could ever be because it's only a limited you know, uh, number of slots out there for a whole bunch of people to hope and pray to get. So if I get, if I get nominated for the Grammys and the reggae category, I'll be very happy. But with or without the Grammys, I am excited about this album and I know this album is going to go places. Everybody stands a great chance once you know the dynamics and you know the, um, you know the, 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 uh, the demands for you know, what you're looking for. Because if you want to be qualified for Grammys, your sound has to be top-notch. And I believe all these artists you're mentioning are all learning as it goes that you can't just put out any sound at all. You need to have your sound sounding correct and right. That's the only way you can even get any attention at all for somebody to even feel like recommending you or anything. So I believe this is a step for others to watch and emulate. Since we also saw the likes of Rocky Dawuni them do it, we saw the likes of big artists like, you know, Ruth Anabo, you know, the likes of um, Osibisa and the rest of them, Kojo uh, Entry, Daddy Lumba, Machi Dede. Timeless music because it's live. So regardless of Grammy, beyond Grammy, if you want your music to live on, it has to be live. The secret in live music here is that everybody is playing something. People are blowing life into the music. Regardless of what people's individual differences might be, everybody is at work once you're, it's time to play your instrument. You can't slack. That alone is a different spirit altogether. So live music is the future. And that's how come I thought if I want to stand out, then that should be the way going forward. And Untamed, 2018, that's my seventh studio album. And I have a track record with six solid albums. And my focus right now is Untamed. I have 22 reggae songs to push, and that's what basically I'm working on. Expect vibrant live music, good sound, and you know, good production and everything. And of course, it's a triple treat for me because it's my birthday, it's Samini Fest, and then I'm releasing my album on that day. So. Myself on that day is like a triple treat for me and it's going to be amazing. So um, a surprise is meant for you to come there and go like, wow. So if I tell you the surprise, then I, I kind of, you know, spoil the whole fun. But it's going to be exciting.